Wouldn't so we to the mic vlog end of day one. Here we are on Juno Beach, which was where the Canadians did the landing on D Day. Um, it's literally the whole the whole day has just been seeing. Well, apart from this morning it's in Cannes, um, is seeing the D Day memorials. Everything about that, it's it's everywhere around here. It's nice, see a nice sky in the background there for sunset. Um, yes, yeah, so early morning, can food market, everything around that, and then cycled up the canal from Khan then to Pegasus Bridge. Which is which was the first of the it was the first operation of D Day six gliders went in behind the lines crashed on Pegasus Bridge and then um, took that bridge the town and another bridge which obviously give the Allies control behind the enemy lines and also communications everything like that for in preparation for the actual what was happening late in the day. Um, that's the best I can remember of it. Um, museum, everything, um, memorials there, then cycled up um, past a town called something Montgomery, um, who's named after Monty, the British commander from the Second World War. Um, then what else? Um, then up to Saw Saw Beach. That was main British beach. Um, it's five miles long. Um, and yeah, um, lovely cycle path um, from there. You, um, it's a nice seafront actually. Um, um, houses, some, and then you get cafes, bars, not too crammed, but not, um, but it's a nice ride, cycle, and you stop by, see all the memorials, there's like flags, every, like, of all the allies, and even of all the, um, things there, and, um, lots of things around, obviously this year for the ETF, ETF, um, anniversary of D-Day. The site along there, and obviously to the place now it's called Sivius Dessert. I'm not sure you that's, that's how I pronounce it. Um, then to my campsite here, only 10 euros, not bad, almost the price of a pint here in France. Um, then just had food, um, and yeah, the set up for the night. So I'm, I'm really tired now, so. Au revoir.